We are about to experience a major cool down and a little bit of a taste of fall here. And while we're about to cool down, the tropics are just now heating up. We have category two Hurricane Aaron off the coast of the Southeast and two disturbances that could become our next tropical cyclones of the year. It's August 19th, 2025. Let's get into the updates. Some well below average air is about to move into the US. This is just our six to 10 day forecast from the Climate Prediction Center. But look what happens when we push out a little bit farther. This is all the way through two weeks and we're remaining below average in a lot of these areas. This is definitely going to feel like falls here for a while, but I don't think the heat's done just yet. You can see as we get into around August 23rd, a lot of that cool air begins to move in through the northern plains, push down into the Ohio Valley and out east. A lot of times when we get these blasts of cold air a little bit before fall or as we're moving into fall, they move in and move out pretty quickly, but it doesn't look like this time. And our American model shows something very similar. Here's all that cold air coming through around the 23rd, 24th, and then lasting all the way almost into the beginning of September here. Our Arctic Oscillation is remaining negative to neutral. Our EPO, however, and this is a big telltale sign that we could see some very cool weather. This is a huge negative dip in the EPO. We have a negative NAO. A negative NAO typically means cooler weather for the central and eastern US and typically a little bit more storminess for the eastern US as well. And then moving into our PNA. This is a very positive PNA and a positive PNA a lot of times represents a ridge building up in the west and more troughing settling in out east. We're also seeing a negative WPO, although this usually means a little bit more as we get into the winter months, but still this could suggest some cooler temperatures down in the US. All in all, what are our teleconnections pointing to? Well, very high confidence that moving into around the 21st and 22nd, we're going to have some well below average air settling into a big portion of the country, as I showed you earlier. We could even see lows dip down into the high 40s in some of these northern tier states. And for August, that's pretty cold. But again, even farther to the south, you will feel the effects of this cooler air. Hurricane Aaron continues to push off to the north northwest and it is only a category two hurricane right now which is good because some models had this thing staying as a cat four or cat five as it moved up the eastern coast here and lucky for us all our latest spaghetti model runs keep this storm offshore and just push it off into the northern atlantic where it will inevitably fall apart the national hurricane center does have this disturbance farther off to the west at a 60 percent chance for cyclone formation in the next seven days and this disturbance currently moving through the mdr they have labeled at a 30 percent chance with how the conditions are out ahead of these disturbances, I think there's a good chance that we'll see both of these form into at least a tropical storm or stronger. What is good is this disturbance right here is looking like it may try to take a similar track to Aaron, although a lot of that's going to depend on how far our high up here to the north shifts down to the southwest and how quickly this disturbance develops. I appreciate you guys watching this video. If you like this type of content, feel free to throw me a follower sub. I make posts like this every day and I stream every day as well to try and answer all of your questions. I'll see you in the next video.